How to determine if your rabbit is sick? Rabbits are adorable pets and generally fairly easy to take care of. They can become sick, however, and it is not always immediately apparent when this is the case. Recognizing common gastrointestinal and respiratory problems can help you determine when yours is sick. Noticing any physical or behavioral changes can also give you clues. If you suspect that your bunny is sick, you'll want to care for it and have a vet examine it. Part 1. Recognizing Gastrointestinal and Respiratory Symptoms Take notice when your rabbit isn't eating. Pay attention if your rabbit's food dish stays full all day long, or if your pet doesn't eat like he or she usually does. If your rabbit has a sudden loss of appetite, it can indicate a number of possible illnesses. 2. Make sure your rabbit has regular droppings. Normally, rabbits will produce plenty of even, round droppings. However, if your rabbit has any of the following problems, it may have either a gastrointestinal illness, or an issue that causes this as a symptom. No droppings at all. Irregularly shaped droppings. Diarrhea, loose or runny droppings. Hair slash fur embedded in droppings. 3. Listen to your bunny's tummy. You can use an ordinary stethoscope, available from many pharmacies and home medical supply stores, to check on your rabbit's digestive system. Simply place the stethoscope on your pet's belly and have a listen. If you hear unusual sounds, gurgling, rumbling, etc., this may indicate that your pet is having gastrointestinal problems, especially when combined with other symptoms such as decreased appetite or diarrhea. Carefully pick up your bunny by cradling him or her in your arm and holding him or her close to you. Never pick a rabbit up by the paws, scruff, or ears. Even if the rabbit kicks or squirms, keep him or her gently but firmly snuggled next to you so that he or she does not fall. Sit down and set your bunny in your lap. Pet him slash her and talk to him or her in a soothing voice to calm it down. Gently place the stethoscope against your rabbit's side and have a listen. When finished, carefully lower your bunny to the ground or his or her home. Never let a rabbit drop to the ground, as this can injure it. Learn the signs of snuffles. Rabbits are susceptible to a common illness called snuffles. Ordinarily, this is accompanied by runny eyes and a runny nose as well as sneezing. If you see any of these symptoms, or all of them at once, you will want to have your bunny inspected by a vet. Unlike human colds that are caused by a virus, rabbit colds are caused by bacteria. Therefore, they can be treated with antibiotics prescribed by a vet. 5. Listen to your bunny's breathing. Rabbits are obligatory nose breathers, meaning they won't breathe through their mouths. Normally, you shouldn't hear or see any labored breathing. If your rabbit seems to be breathing loudly, or moving its chest significantly when breathing, this may be a sign of a respiratory problem or other issues. 6. Notice when your rabbit sneezes. Occasionally, a rabbit may get some dust in its nose and need to sneeze. If you notice chronic, frequent, sneezing, however, your rabbit may be sick. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you soon in our next upcoming video.